Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2009 Audi A8L uh, 4.2. This is a clean title, clean Carfax car. It's got 88,000 miles on it. We can finance it through Cuddle. We can put an extended warranty on it. We welcome trades. So absolutely one of our favorite cars. Um, just a ton of room. Uh, it's a ton of car for the money. This was, I think it was a $92,000 car new or a $90,000 car new. It is a sport package car, uh, as you'll recognize by the twin um, spoke wheels. It's got new Michelins on it. Uh, it's all current on its service. It was sold as a certified car in 2010. Um, it's got good service history on it. Everything works. All the original VIN tags are in place and legible. So if you're familiar with this generation Audi, um, it's got a VIN tag here, and on every door panel, can you see that? Let me. Uh, every door panel, uh, the fenders, the trunk, those are all intact and legible. It's also got soft closed doors on it, so it'll, that door will close on its own. Uh, this button here is an indication you've got locking and unlocking doors. What Audi calls, I don't know in this generation if it was called Audi Smart Key. Um, it is now, that means you can get in and out of your car without using the key and start it with push button start as long as the key is on your person. So the L is the long wheelbase. Uh, we haven't bought any of these in the short wheelbase. Uh, we're a lot less interested in those. Uh, they're all wheel drive uh, and it's a 4.2 V8. Um, I mean, we've just, we love these things. We're just probably gonna drive this for a while. Um, so you can see the, the trunk is super clean. And then uh, you have an original spare in the back uh, power trunk so here's another one of those uh, the VIN tags I was talking about so that's got an Audi symbol and the VIN on there that indicates those body panels uh, were original so rear parking sensors and backup camera on this car uh, it's in really really good shape cosmetically uh, we didn't do anything to the exterior other than polish it there's a little mark here on the door uh, so we detailed and that was it. Um, I don't even think we repaired the wheels. So we've got xenon lights, uh, headlight washers, front parking sensors. So those are adaptive self-leveling. Uh, we love the back seat in this thing. It's one of the reasons we like them. I've got rear, uh, manual rear sunshades in the back uh, that come up here. And then just a massive back seat, which we love. So you have rear vanity um, mirrors that drop down here. Everything works. Uh, here's another VIN tag and then the one on the door is here. The hole's from a PDR apparently. That was not ours. <coughs> so there's your trim. So you do have both surround sound on this with the DSP which is a digital sound processor. You have brushed aluminum trim with wood. You have multiple adjustable seats. They're just ridiculously, and the sport seat has got an extendable bolster here. You'll also notice by the perforation it's ventilated. Uh, it's also massaging, which is this. I mean, they're just, this is the only sign of wear and tear on this car. I'm not gonna address that. It's just what it is. Uh, really common when you have an exaggerated bolster that people getting in and out will wear them out. Uh, the rest of it's super clean. <clears throat> so I do have two master keys. They're both here. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the push button start, so you've got uh, the Audi Smart Key system. I'm gonna close the sunroof, show you that that works. And then, uh, let me turn the lights on real quick. So passenger side door is clean, no signs of wear and tear. That red button right there is an indication that's the massaging system. Passenger side seat, super clean, dash, clean. No signs of wear and tear or cracking anywhere. Um, I'm gonna turn that on. So uh, this is this is standard stuff here. Nothing special about any of this. You do have the Tiptronic uh, electronic parking brake. You've got dual auto climate control. The bottom uh, control here is for passenger side and driver side um, ventilated seats, and then uh, heated seats. Dual auto climate control. Uh, this is your navigation. So you do have Bluetooth, you've got navigation, uh, there's your map. Uh, if you throw this into reverse, you've got a backup camera. So you can change that setting um, from a camera to a graphic if you want uh, by hitting that button. Uh, what else? Uh, so uh, FM, AM, uh, sound width. 
satellite radio, uh, and as I mentioned, the DSP. Let me turn the parking sensor off. Um, then you have CD and AUX, so you've got a source um, with the interface. Bluetooth, as I mentioned, and then another nice thing about this car uh, with the sport um, setting is you have adjustable suspension. So, dynamic, automatic, uh, comforter lifted. That's nice. That's part of the sport package. Um, you have a rear sunshade. So if you hit that, you're going to see that sunshade in the back go up. Just so you know that it works. Uh, you have a multifunction steering wheel. So you have a paddle shifter with an upshift on the right and a downshift on the left. The mode is uh, an ability to scroll through your onboard computer stuff or your audio system. Voice activation and volume control. Uh, front wipers. Uh, cruise control, power tilt and telescoping wheel. Uh, parking sensors. Power folding mirrors. Heated mirrors. Um, trying to think else. Uh, what else? Uh, three buttons up here. Uh, that are programmable for security gates and garage door openers. It's the equivalent of home link um, Trying to think of anything else so center console is clean um, I think that's it so we've got the books which are in a really really nice uh, soft leather uh, pouch and then the CD changer has been uh, replaced with the cable uh, Which is nice so more current not a lot of people are using six disc changers anymore uh, I think that's it. Uh, super nice. So 82,000 miles, uh, 82,073 miles. The, cur the service is current, doesn't need anything. Uh, the tires are new and they're Michelins. Um, turn the lights off. It's just a ton of car for the money. Uh, and we'll probably drive this so it's going to have more miles on it than it does currently. Um, you know, I've, I think we've owned, I've had I think four of these through my shop and I've personally owned two of them. The first one was a white one I sold that I gave to my wife, and that's we're still talking about. Well, I'm not talking. She's talking about it. I'm listening. <laughs> so anyway, so we don't own this one. Um, but if you have questions, would like additional information, uh, please feel free to contact us, and we can be reached at 503-227-2354. And thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.